Good morning, welcome to the latest installment of Break 70 where I try to break 70 on any golf course I can find. This morning I'm at the yard, front yard. So it's a nine hole course, par 35, we're gonna play it twice. So the par is only 70, so we, uh, we got that going for us. And if I do break 70, one lucky viewer is gonna win a pretty awesome prize. So let's go play some golf. So if you watched uh, the most recent installment where I played King and Bear, I think I hit like eight greens that entire day. So my goal today is just to, to smooth swing it, hit as many greens as I can and give myself as many looks at birdie as I can. So I'm trying to get myself back into playing shape and taking undue risk and then just being short-sided out, out of position just makes the game hard. So let's just, let's just hit greens today. Threatening with the, uh, the black hole there. This is like the coolest hole in Jacksonville. Bunker in the middle of the green, black sand. Love it. fun on the first five we basically had the wind helping us making those holes a lot easier now these last four are gonna be straight into the tee the challenge is definitely up. like I do in all the break 70s if I break 70 we're gonna give something away and all you have to do to enter is comment and be subscribed that's it today I'm gonna sweeten the deal if I can hit 14 greens because I want to hit greens today that's the goal I'm gonna give away a second prize so two prizes in today's video if I break 70 and if I hit 14 greens Funny. Could could be counting as a green. Oh. No 
those last three holes are tough. And I think the wind's gonna be the exact same when we get them again. So we're one under, first bogey of the day, six greens. If I hit 14 greens, if I break 70, I'm gonna pick two winners to win a year subscription to my newly launched app. It's practice, it's training, it's goal setting. It's the thing I'm doing to help you play better golf. So comment on the video, make sure you're subscribed, and let's go. Man, that second shot on two is just giving me headaches, flaying it out to the right. I got so lucky there that that shot from the coquina, I mean, it came out hot, but it hit <laughs> into that hill. And uh, we were able to scramble a par. But this is where we made our first birdie on the front. So let's do it again. So if I'm being honest, uh, I'm starting to feel it. I haven't played good golf in a while and I feel like I'm just holding on by a thread right now. So for these four holes, they're challenging, they're into the wind. My miss is spinny things out to the right. So I'm having to like really slow myself down, take my time, breathe, and just try to hit fairways, hit greens because that will take care of itself and the score and the goal will be accomplished. There's just something about a windy day. You have a lot of four or five footers and I'm just saying like, just keep yourself so solid. These are some of the best strokes I'm ever, I've ever made. And they're, they're saving this round because it doesn't feel as good as the score does right now. <laughs> Take it. Not my best. Holy moly, this guy. Come on, 
Unfortunately, that missed green made 14 mathematically impossible. So all we gotta do is make par on the 18th, and we break 70. We shoot 68, and we hang on for dear life. So I get to comment. Jeez, what the heck was that? What a sloppy way to finish. But well, we did it, 69. It feels, uh, peace.